Verbio is a German-based company. We've been in business since 2001, and in 2010, really got into anaerobic digestion. The site in Nevada, Iowa is the first venture into the United States. So we acquired the DuPont cellulosic facility and converted it to a cellulosic renewable natural gas plant uh, utilizing corn stouffer. Uh, corn stouffer has a great uh, cellulose, hemicellulose feedstock, so it's a very good feedstock. We can get uh, good energy content from you know, each bale of stouffer. So what we'd like to do is give an example of four bales. Uh, so each bale is about half a ton, half a metric ton. Can run a car for 9,000 miles. So that the corn stouffer process will produce 7 million gallons of ethanol equivalent. And we've been operating for almost two years now. We have about 80 people working on site here. It starts out with contracting with the farmers uh, to take corn stouffer from their fields, about approximately a third. We've worked with Iowa State to determine what the optimal uh, amount of corn stouffer we remove from the field. So we remove, remove that so that when the farmer's done harvesting, we come, we uh, chop, we bale, we stack. We'll bring it either into the plant or we'll bring it into one of our two storage locations. We have uh, 80,000 bales of storage on site here. So then we take those bales, we bring them into our process. Uh, we grind them, uh, go through a hammer mill to size it correctly to a certain particle size. Uh, and then we slurry it and pump that into our digesters. So we just use water and corn stouffer. Two years ago, we seeded our reactors with manure and uh, wastewater treatment sludge. We have not added any additional uh, into our digesters. We feed about 50 bales into each digester per day, so over 25 tons. And when we cycle when we're feeding in them, we'll be also be pulling out in the digestate. The digesters, uh, they don't need to be heated in the summer, they do need to be heated in the winter. From those digesters, we go through uh, and we separate out the solid digestate from the liquid digestate. And the digestate that comes out, we press it. You know, so we go through some presses. So we make the humus, we recycle the liquid digestate back to slurry out more corn stouffer. So from a liquid standpoint, continuous loop, we will add some water to it, uh, depending on how much water we've removed in that solid digestate. The solid digestate, uh, the consistency of it is, it, it, it doesn't have a really an odor at all and it's characterized as a soil conditioner. It, it doesn't have you know a lot of nitrogen in it but it does have humic acid and then also when the humus dries out it can hold three times its weight in water. The solid digestate we load out and put back on the fields. Uh, it really depends on if the farmer wants it back on their fields because some farmers uh, have a lot of manure they spread on their fields so I uh, would rather not have the solid digestate on the field. From there, the gas coming off the digesters goes to a gas cleaning. We on site generate uh, enough renewable natural gas to basically supply all the energy needs of the plant while exporting to the uh, grid where we remove CO2 and any impurities. Uh, then we also take the gas and dry it um, and we compress it and then the gas is, flows to an uh, Alliant pipeline analyzer. They'll analyze it to make sure it meets pipeline specification, and if it does, then it'll be injected into the